Hi! All fixtures in the capture library already come with some form of plot symbol, but it's not uncommon that you would like to replace it with your own plot symbols. In capture, we can import plot symbols so that you can apply them to your fixtures. They need to be in a vector-based graphics format known as SVG, short for Scalable Vector Graphics. SVG files can be output by many different software such as Inkscape or Illustrator or Affinity Designer. We have ourselves tested Affinity Designer and make sure that the SVG files output work well with Capture. And here is an example of a fixture symbol that we've drawn, a profile, that I have exported to an SVG file on my desktop. So let's take a look at importing that into Capture. I scroll down to the Symbols category in the Design tab and hit the Add button. I select the SVG file and open, which imports the SVG into Capture where I can give it a name, which by default will be the name of the file. There's no preview available in the symbols category, so in order to see the symbol, you need to add it to a fixture. To do that, simply drag and drop it onto a fixture, and here, as you can see, is the imported symbol. A few useful properties to point out for the symbols, starting with scale. Now, while SVG is a format where you can draw to scale, meaning that you can draw the symbol as or matching the actual size of the fixture, sometimes you will want to adjust this. Um, and that can be done using the scale property, where we can both increase or decrease the size of the symbol. Unfortunately, the SVG format does not allow us to really define the center of a symbol. And in the case of the profile here, the yoke may be located a little bit further back, which we might want to compensate for. We can do that by assigning a vertical offset. That was a little bit too much. Let's say five centimeters which now has placed the, the center of the symbol where the yoke would be on the fixture. We can also adjust things like where the unit information appears, where the wattage appears, or even where the annotation block with the circuit channel and patch appears. If you want to apply a symbol to many fixtures, you don't need to drag and drop them one by one. You can start with selecting all the fixtures you would like to apply the symbol to and then drag and drop the symbol onto any of the selected fixtures. This applies the symbol to all of them. Thanks for watching.